Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Knife. It's a hack the box machine. It's along with the, um, I was just checking out the whole list of OSCP boxes and I'm trying to go down that list. And um, yeah, this is another box for the list. So if you guys have any questions about the box, just leave you know comments below. I've never done this box. I put a little like a little thing on my Instagram saying, hey, would you guys like to see this box? Because I had some requests about it. And here we are, you know, I never done it. I just did an Nmap scan of the box, you know, but we'll go through that in a second. So it's a retired machine, just to give you a little background of this box. And this is all I know, you know what I mean? Literally, you know, I have really no, not much insight about this machine. So, you know, this is a first time for me. And it'll be a first time. If it's a first time for you, welcome. And if you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe if you have any questions and share the content and it gives me that motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. Right? All right. So let's go through these um this this Nmap scan, right? So like I always do, I always save it out to an, an output. So we have what we have here, we have port 22, which is SSH, we have port 80. And we have Apache 2.4. Uh, let me actually make that a little bigger because maybe I'm going blind. Um, so we have port 22 and then port 80, right? So it's pretty much just running HTTP and SSH. So maybe we have to do something with SSH, maybe not, um, but we don't know yet, right? So let's just go ahead and just browse out to the the IP address, because it says it has web services running. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's copy this. Let's go out to the IP. And let's see what this is all about. All right, so it looks like, uh, I have no idea. At EMA, we're taking care of the whole new level, taking care of our whatever. Let's see, let's see if there's anything. There's not really much here. Well, let's see if we do like index dot htm. Web services is really not my forte, but um, I'm okay with doing the out, you know out of my comfort zone stuff. Out of my comfort zone stuff. All right, so this gave us maybe a maybe the obviously we know that this is the um, sorry I'm just like trying to think and talk at the same time. So Apache two dot four dot forty one. So we know that's here. So we can actually, you know, if we're doing an assessment, we can just copy this and put it into our notes. That's what I go ahead and do just for note taking. Because with me, I I like to take notes, right? So let's go ahead and just put that there. And we have 22 and port 80 open, right? Just just for just for some sake. So if I go back here and Let's see SSH, we have that open. So what about if we do something like, if you're familiar with the curl command, what we can do is try to curl and see if we can get any more information. So we can use curl. There's a few, but I wanna try, I'm just gonna try to get some information. So if I get and use the dash I and then HTTP and then the IP address, let me get the IP address up here. and then paste it here. See if we get any information. All right, cool. So this is good. So now it's pulling the server and we know it's running PHP 8.1.0. So we can also take, we can take this whole shebang. Let's just take this whole thing. Let's make sure we copy this and let's throw it in here in our, um, in our bag of goodies, all right? So, so far, this is the enumeration part, right? So what we're seeing here, we can see that it's running Apache, running Ubuntu, it's running PHP. So maybe we can go you know, after this PHP at some point, see if we can exploit that, see if there's any exploits out on the interwebs, right? There's another 
command I've learned, and then I heard learned this from a buddy that loves to do web stuff, and I thank you. I'm not going to shout him out because I don't know if his name wants to be out there, but um, what web, right? So what web we can see as well. Oh crap! This is not what I wanted. Ah, crap! All right, what web? HTTP, and then I oops, HTTP. Okay, and then let me go get this IP address again because I have short-term memory. Let's copy that, and let's go ahead and paste this here. Of course, it's going to do that. So let's just take this out. Okay, see what this gives us back. See what we get back. All right, cool deal. So this is pretty much the same kind of info. We can see what we do with curl. So we can see, you know, 200 OK, Apache, the country, HTTP server, Apache, the IP address, PHP, et cetera. So it's just another cool little tool that we can utilize, right? And so now let's go ahead and see if we can try to get some information on the interwebs about PHP 8. Whoops. 8.1.0. So if I just copy this, if I just go out to the internet, let's just go ahead and just paste this in. And then, for example, we can just do something like, uh, do, 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 do. let's do this. You know what? Let's just do this. Uh, PHP 8.1 dev exploit. See if we can get any cool stuff here. And let's do exploit DB. Okay. So all right. So this is looks pretty. Let's see what we what we have here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see. So what we can try to do, we can download this. Let's download this. And this looks like we can use this user agent, remote code execution, we can possibly use this to get into maybe a backdoor. And let's see, so we can copy that, we can, excuse me, save that. Let me open up another window. I'll make this larger and I wanna go back into super user. Okay, and let's CD to downloads because that's where it went. Oops, let me clear this out. And then it's right here. You can see it right here. This is the, this is what we just downloaded. Okay, so what we're going to do is execute that. So we can do Python because it's a Python script, as you can see, right? And then let's go ahead and use 499. Hopefully, this will work. Okay, so now it's saying enter the full host URL. So it's HTTP. Oh, hold on, I forgot the. Let me just do this copy and let me just take this out and just paste. And let's see if it works. Oh, boom. Looks like we're in. Let's do an LS. Whoa. So we are in. So if we do CD, for example, user, LS. All right. So normally, how we can check this out, we can actually go into, uh, we can just try to see if there's anything. So let's do, like, for an example, LS to home. Right, so it's James, right? So pretty much what I'm doing is listing all the, the content that resides in home. So if I do, oh, out arrow don't work. So if I do ls slash home slash James, now we get user.txt. This is good, right? So now I can do cat home slash James slash user.txt. Look, look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. We got the first flag. So let's copy this. Let's go back to our hack the box, submit flag, and let's I'll say a three, just because we had to go out and it's a manual exploit. Okay, let's submit that. Hopefully it works. Flag accepted. Perfect. Let's keep it moving. So now what we just did, you know, we were able to get into a, you know, now we're in our in interactive mode. So what we can do now is actually just take, like open up a new tab. I think I have a new tab open already. So what we're going to do, I want to open up a new tab. Oh, crap. I don't want to do that, but whatever. Uh, I didn't want to clear that, but it's all good. So what we're going to do, so what I want to do now is there's a little trick I just um, 
just found out about this, uh, you know, I don't know, a few months ago or whatever, but I, I have a little cheat sheet of commands. So this is when I would use this command. So what I want to do now, obviously not this, ncat, you know, you should know ncat. And I want to show you listen on one, two, three, four. Okay. So now all the income connections for this is going to go on one, two, three, four. So now let me go ahead and open up a new tab. And let me make this bigger. And SU. Sorry, let me just get back to. Um, okay, so let me make this larger. Clear this. So what we're going to do now, I want to go ahead and copy this command I have on another screen. Okay. And remember, we are listening for incoming connections here. So I want to paste this. And what I want to do here is I want to change out. This is, like I said, my little cheat sheet. IP address local IP. So this is going to be my local IP on the Kali box. So let me open up one more terminal. And let's just do an if config. Okay. So mine's going to be 10.10.14.10. 10 110, sorry. That's the ton zero. That's for the hack the box. Okay. Let's go ahead and go here. And let's paste this in. Okay. So what we're doing is, is trying to interact with that, with this NCAT, with a bat. With with a bash shell, with the TCP, with my IP address, with the port that I'm listening on. Now, if we hit enter here, we should interact. Whoops. Uh, did it not go? Let's see. Let's try this again. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. So let's kill this. Let's try this one more time. What I want to do is I need to I need to exit out of here. I just need to. Oh, Jesus, sorry guys. Let's open up this, and open up this, and let's have two of them open. All right, so let's try this one more time. Let's clear this. Let's go. Ahead. So why can I go up now? All right, so let me go ahead and just close this out. Let's just open up a new new terminal. Okay, let's go to sudo su. Okay, let's go ahead and just cd to hack the box, the box slash knife. Okay, let's see if I can do history. And okay, doesn't show. Okay, cool deal. No sweat at all. Let's just go ahead and do this one more time. Let's do NCAT. One, two, three, four. Three, four. N, N, V, N. Let's do N, P. Just for. Uh, can't even see this. L, V, N, P. Okay. And let's go ahead and just open up a new terminal, a new tab. Okay, let's do sudo su. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want to copy this, paste it here, and then what I want to do is put this local IP. Uh, it was 10.10. I don't remember. If config ton zero. 14.110, 14.110. So now once I execute this, it should give me something here. Let's go ahead and give it a go. I don't know why it's not connecting. Interesting. I wonder, okay, one second. What I want to try to do, I have an idea. I think I know what's going on. Okay, I think I know. I need to run this. Sorry, guys. Let's try this one more time. NCAT dash. I want to run that on the box. I, I didn't realize what I was doing. I should be running that on the box itself. Okay, listening. Let's go ahead and copy this again. And let's run it from the actual server. Paste this in. And 
Oh, crap. All right. So what I have to do is just put the IP address in this little 10.10.14.110. Okay. So let me try this once more. Sorry, guys. Trial and error here. This is not going to work. Okay. Let's paste this in. Now enter. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool deal. So now we're interacting with the server, right? Now we can do an LS. Now we are on this box. Now we have an interactive shell. I, I, I sorry for that. I was didn't realize that I wasn't on the box, but it's all good, right? It's a learning. This is what we're all here for to learn. So once we're on here, we can do sudo because now now what we have to do. Let's make this a little larger. I can. I guess we can just make this bigger now since we're on this box. So we can do sudo dash l to see what we what we have here. So we can start, since it's knife, it, it uses an application on here, so user bin knife. So what we can do is actually look for an exploit out there. But what I want to do is I'm just going to run like a, a pseudo command that, that interacts with knife. So we can just go ahead and out to Google. Uh, uh, knife. Uh, do, 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 do. Like, see, like pseudo knife. Let's do pseudo knife. Okay, execute. So we can just use you know different kinds of um, executions, but I have it like I said, I have my little cheat sheet. But we can you can just go out to the internet and just give these things some a go. But for obviously for the sake of the video, I want to go ahead and use a command I already have in my cheat sheet, so I don't have to cut you know I don't have to type it all out. And when we paste this, so it's gonna be sudo knife execute. We're going to execute the bin and interact with it, right? So now if we do that, now it's going to be root. You see here, who am I? Now I'm root. So now if we cd to root, ls, now it has root.txt. Now if I root, root.txt. I mean, if I cat, oh my god. There we go. Whoops. Now we have the root flag. Now let's go ahead and submit this. And it looks like we're going to be golden. Let's paste that in here. Say, say it was a four. For me, at least, you know. So here we go. So now it is accepted. Now we're able to, bada bing, bada boom, we're able to get that. So that pretty much concludes this video. So if you guys liked it, please like, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, you can hit me up in my Discord. All my social media is down below. So if you have any questions about this box, if you get stuck, if you Whatever, just let me know and I'll try to help you as best as I can. All right, so until next time, guys, have a good day and be safe. Thank you for viewing.